Today I'm going to be installing Sumo Springs on our fifth wheel. So the first question is, what in the world is a sumo spring? In short, sumo springs are suspension dampeners, right? It's a piece of foam that goes between your leaf spring and the frame of your trailer, and it provides additional cushion that will do a couple of things. It will, one, reduce vibration in your trailer. So when you have a leaf spring, there's all that extra space that the spring can move up and down and this kind of clears up that space and gives it a little extra dampening. Now, this is not like a shock absorber or anything like that. This cannot hold the weight of your trailer on its own. It's just designed to take up that little extra flex that your spring might have when going down the road, or also just sitting in your trailer, walking around, that kind of thing. Uh, it'll, it'll help reduce that side-to-side -side movement. Another thing that the Sumo Spring is designed to do is help extend the life of your suspension. Right? We all have heard the horror stories of leaf springs breaking, going down the road, that kind of thing. And another thing that the Sumo Spring is going to do is it's going to help reduce the body roll of the, the camper left to right. Uh, there's not going to be as much sway in the camper. Uh, so going down the road, you should notice that even when you hit like potholes and stuff, there's a much reduced amount of sway in your trailer. All right, so real quick, let's get into the components of the Sumo Spring. So I've got this one fully assembled. I'll, I'll show you how to assemble it. I promise, guys, it is super easy. If you know how to use a, a jack and a 14 millimeter wrench or, or a 14 millimeter socket with a ratchet, uh, you, you can do this install. It's very, very simple. Um, literally, the only tools you need are, like I said, a jack, uh, somehow of turning a 14 millimeter bolt whether that's a wrench or a socket with a ratchet or an impact which i don't recommend uh, for this specific install um, and then a tape measure that's really all you need all right so components of the sumo spring so you've got your bracket here right this bracket is two pieces normally that are put together like this a bolt goes up through the bottom, basically preventing those brackets from separating. You then take the spring itself and screw it onto that bolt. You don't want to screw it down too tight because you want it to still be able to open and close uh, because you have to fit it around your uh, spring. Then you want to take the bolt, push it through, sorry, there's those two square holes there, push the bolt through, put on your washer, and then put on your nut. And again, you don't want to tighten any of this down right now because you still have to fit it onto your suspension. But basically that's, that's in a nutshell how this thing is assembled. And that's all there is to it. It's a very, very simple piece of equipment. One more thing I want to add. You see there's two different heights between these two sumo springs. And the reason is I actually have a spacer on one of them. So my rear axle is actually a little bit, there's a little more gap between the spring and the actual frame of the trailer. So I had to add a spacer to take up that additional slack and the kit comes with four different spacers so basically two per spring if necessary all right so now i've got both of my springs assembled ready to go i've got my front spring and i've got my rear spring for my rear axle a quick note also these kits only come with two so if you have a trailer like mine which is a tandem axle you're gonna need to buy two kits so this kit that i have set up right now is for one side of my trailer I also have to do the same thing on the other side of the trailer. So let's go ahead and let's get under the trailer and let's get this thing installed. All right guys, so we are under the trailer right now. 
and to call this a tight space is an understatement um, so I, I'm gonna try and get the best video that I possibly can if it's not like super clear I, I really apologize um, I'm, I'm gonna try and do my best here uh, but there's not a lot of room to work with so this is the front axle of uh, my right tandems right so that's where we're gonna be doing the install right now all right so I've already measured and I've got five inches between this plate right here and the frame of my trailer so what that required of me to do is to use no spacers on this spring and I'm still gonna have a little bit of extra cushion so the idea here is that you have a quarter inch to a half inch of preload on this spacer so what that means is as soon as you lower your trailer back down onto this it should push this spring down about a quarter inch to a half inch I would say a half inch is probably good to be safe all right so step one let's get the trailer jacked up so as always I'm going to be using my safe jack system because it's awesome uh, and I can't recommend it enough for anyone who has a trailer uh, having having extensions like this are just completely invaluable and there's different pieces that uh, that uh, you can fit onto the top of your jack and I, I know this is a really terrible view um, but I'll, I'll give you guys a, a quick view of it uh, uh, once I get outside of the trailer all right so I got the sergeant model it comes in this 50 cal ammo can this is your two-piece a uh, little pole to pump up the bottle jack. This is the plate that goes underneath your frame. This is a, I believe, six inch uh, extension pole that goes on top of the bottle jack. And I'll show you how this works. So just kind of a fairly standard bottle jack, uh, but it's got this spacer on it right here. Uh, it's 3D printed, I believe, uh, but it allows these to fit on there snugly, um, and then you can put on top of it uh, your different attachments, however you want to attach it to your trailer. Uh, like, it also comes with this attachment uh, in case you need to secure uh, your, your frame rail a little better, um, or you need to jack up on a certain point. Uh, where you would need uh, these these little side portions here. Also, this is probably my favorite attachment, is this extension. Uh, but you pull this pin out. It's hard to do this one-handed. And then you can raise it up, make that extension uh, taller or shorter, which makes setting up the jack super easy. Um, then I've got an extra pin, um, and then I believe this is a three inch extension. It also comes with instructions and stickers and that kind of thing. So yeah, it's a, a really awesome jack system. Uh, just having these attachments are, are worth it, uh, worth the cost alone. Uh, it just, it makes jacking up your trailer or vehicle so much easier. All right guys, so I got it jacked up enough. I've got enough space between the plate and the frame of my trailer. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the groove portion of the sumo spring around each end of this plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and place my sumo spring around my leaf spring plate. All right, and then once you can feel that it's seated properly uh, and, and the, the V is in the groove on each side of this plate, go ahead and tighten down this nut right here. And you want to torque it to 10 foot pounds. And in other words, good and tight. All right, so once you have that portion done, all you have to do is screw down the top.
top of the sumo spring, the actual foam part. Just screw it down as tight as you can by hand, um, and you'll be good to go. Again, with, with any of these things, don't over torque it, don't overdo it. You don't need to he man it. There's not a lot of, of stress on these bolts, so just make sure that, that it's good and tight and you're not, uh, it's not gonna come loose. All right guys, so I got the front and rear installed. Unfortunately, I was having a tough time getting a camera angle on the rear one, so you guys didn't get to see that. But here's an up close of what it looks like installed. Uh, I have not yet lowered my trailer, it's still on the jack. But this is the, the plate I was talking about earlier that you want to install the sumo spring on. It's between uh, both of those U-bolts. You want it kind of centered. All right, so last step. Let's go ahead and get this lowered and uh, see what she looks like. We'll get, uh, we'll get the rear one. So there's what it looks like with a little bit of preload on it. And the rear one has very little preload on it, but I'm also on gravel here. So it might make me uh, slightly uneven, but yeah. So yeah, that's, that's what it looks like, guys. Um, I haven't done a road test yet. Obviously, I'm still under the trailer, but after I do a road test, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated. I think these are going to be kind of like that final perfect touch I needed for this suspension. I already showed you guys a while ago that I, I replaced the four leaf springs with five leaf springs. I put on the more ride shackles. I also put on bigger tires, uh, heavier duty tires. Uh, also put on these, you can kind of see here, these, uh, I believe they're more ride X factor or something like that. Cross members that go between the springs. I want zero suspension issues. <laughs> if, uh, if you can't tell, I'm a big fan of preparing for the worst uh, because I don't want the worst to ever happen. Uh, so hopefully with all of these suspension upgrades, this, uh, the suspension on our trailer is just solid and I don't have to worry about it. Um, so far, so good. I've had no issues. Um, but I'm thinking that these sumo springs are just like that final last touch that we needed. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Have a good one.